I've created this video to demonstrate how to use a USB camera to demonstrate ear anatomy on a PC desktop or laptop. These USB cameras are available on Amazon for less than $20 and they're available to everyone. They allow display of images on the screen of a computer and also illumination and magnification in areas that would otherwise be difficult to see such as the ear canal. They provide better images than what most physicians are seeing with their current equipment. Can also allow creation of files for review, archiving, and sharing, such as in telemedicine. These are examples of USB cameras available on Amazon for less than $20. The tip is 5.5 millimeters in diameter and has six LED lights. There's a 1.3 megapixel camera that has a fixed focal length with a typical depth of field of 12 to 22 millimeters. There's a two meter long cable, at the end of which is a USB connection also a micro USB and a type C for Android devices. For our purposes, we'll be using the USB connection. There's also an inline rheostat that lets you vary the light intensity. For ear exams, I typically use this at full light intensity. I've made a mark on top of the camera with a paint pen that helps in orienting the image on the screen. In performing ear exams, I typically use a Welch Allen 4.25 millimeter tip and in doing this, the device does not come in contact with the patient's skin. If you have administrator privileges on the computer you're using, you can download this software at the OASIS Scientific website. Some computers need the second file additionally. If you have IT professionals doing this for you, you don't have to worry about this. So then we'll go to the website and then scroll down to oasis.exe. Under the oasis.exe download file, click on that. and That'll download it to your desktop. The lower right shows the MS file that may need to be downloaded for some computers. With the computer turned on, you can connect the camera via the USB slot. There is an audible sound that should be heard indicating the computer has recognized the camera. There it is. You can then visualize images on the screen by clicking the Oasis icon. If there's any problem with this and there are error messages, proceed as described here. We're now on the desktop. We'll click on the Oasis icon and then click Run. And then we have an image displayed coming from the camera. We can maximize this to the screen by clicking to the left of the X. We'll have smoother images if under Options we click on Preview. It gives a smoother display. We're now looking at an ear canal. This is 50 power magnification on a 17 inch monitor. If all you want to do is see live images, you're all set with what we've talked about up till now. If you want to record, you need to go on to the next series of instructions. I'm going to go through the menu bar items individually. Under File, we need to set a video folder for the files to go into. And there's a file name there. We can go and cancel this. And then we need to set a photo folder to receive the photos. There's one labeled photos here we can use. So we'll click OK. Under Devices, Here's our camera. Under Options, Capture allows us to record. Preview allows smoother play on the screen. So go back to Capture. Under Video Capture, I'll we'll click Start Capture. And then we have to open a file. We'll click OK. This establishes the size of the maximal file. We'll now click OK, and this is where the actual recording starts. To stop it, under Video Capture, click Stop Capture. To record stills under Snap, click on Capture. To make recordings, we need to go to Options and click on Capture. To record video, we'll go to Video Capture and then click on Start Capture. Open a file, click on Open. Click on OK, and that's when the actual video recording starts. We can then stop the video recording under Video Capture, click on Stop Capture, and that segment of video will be placed into the folder. To get a still image under Snap, click Capture, and that still image will be placed in the photo folder. Then minimize this, go to the desktop, open the video folder, and here's the segment of video that we recorded. We can open that. It starts playback as you click on it. We can maximize that. There are functions buttons down at the bottom for manipulating the file. Close the file, close the folder, go to the photo folder, open that, click on the photo we took, 
We'll then close that file, close that folder, and we go back to live imaging by clicking the icon at the bottom, Oasis. The files are then available for a variety of functions within the limits of HIPAA and patient confidentiality. The camera should be cleaned between patients with an antiseptic wipe, but it should not be immersed in liquid as it's not waterproof. The USB camera enhances examination of the ear canal and tympanic membrane, facilitating more accurate diagnoses, along with education, communication, and documentation. It's a significant advance over what's being done in most settings and is really exciting technology.